What's up, everybody? Richard back to another reaction video today. Of the summer, the new track, Overwhelming Power. And uh, very excited for this. You know, I love my boys and Left to Suffer. I know they did this video with Eric DiCarlo. I'm excited. Let's go. Okay. Uh oh. It only get heavier, right? Yep. Ooh. I think I've ever heard Taylor do a vocal like that. I like that. That's a cool pattern. Oh, back to that two step. Better hit us with a smash. Isolated vocal into a drop. Ready? Not quite, but close. Oh! Okay. Okay, Jacob. Okay. Oh my god, again? So that was left to suffer overwhelming power. Uh, yeah, that was overwhelmingly powerful. Uh, first of all, okay, we'll, we'll start with the vocals, right? So Taylor is a, is a genius, uh, fantastic vocalist, but we had like that little spot there of like that higher pitch scream where I've heard, we've heard him do highs before, but I've never heard him quite do like, like those type. Like that was almost kind of like, I can't really, I can't really pinpoint it, but it was definitely different from like, you know, the end of depression, you know, like that song that they do depression. This was like a different kind of, uh, almost like a black, black metal type of like, uh, 
high there. It was very brief, but that was cool. I thought the patterns were really cool in this as well. Um, you know, the different, you know, like I said, he can do it all. So he, he really does a nice job of mixing up uh, vocal tones and vocal styles, going back from the, you know, the spoken word to just his crazy, just like extremely powerful gutturals. Um, the guitar work, uh, man, I um, I really heard a lot of corn influence in this. You know, like, even like towards the end of that, wee, wee, like you kind of like you, or, I can't remember exactly what the the noise was, right? But I heard a lot of like kind of like backing layers that uh, reminded me of corn. Uh, really did a lot, and that could be because I just I'm just coming off, you know, checking out their uh, latest record. But I definitely heard some corn influence in there, and then we had Jacob doing the little, you know, some uh, some just going nuts there towards the end. Um, you know, this is an interesting track because um, this was super like kind of slow paced overall, other than the chorus, which had the two step, which I think that that for a song like this, to, if you want to put a chorus in there, I think having a two step. Uh, part for the chorus is cool uh, because what it does is it definitely differentiated the rest of the track but I also think for a live setting too that'll get people moving and uh, you know they'll know when it's coming they'll expect it and and I think that that's just a great live um, part of a song like to just play that live however the, the, the rest of the song was very kind of ominous very slow and typically I like it like songs to kind of be a little bit faster but these guys have like, especially like with that corn, corn-ish like backing layers and whatnot. Like these guys really, um, you know, know how to create that kind of atmosphere where it's like super kind of unsettling, super uneasy. And you can probably see it in my reaction watching it. It's slow paced and it's it just feels like it's a never ending build to the next drop. And the drops in this just absolutely smashed. But the other thing too that I want to also point out about the guitars that I just remembered is that. They're they're really coming into their own in terms of like having that very identifiable tone. Uh, there's there's something about their guitar tone that once you hear it, it, it's it's fairly unique to them. Like I just I can immediately tell that it's a left to suffer guitar tone. Um, but yeah, I I really like this a lot. You know, kind of looking at their previous releases, right? Uh, they have they have the song um, uh, featuring Kamiyata Plus, which I, 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 the name of the song is escaping me, but then they had DNR before that. Um, so I think, you know, from this next batch of releases, right, comparing them, this was definitely my favorite. Um, and this is probably one of my favorite songs by them that they've done. Uh, so th this was really well done. That super ominous feel. And the video itself, you know, from from Eric, the editing was fantastic. And, um, yeah, man, I, I really enjoyed this a lot. I, I'd probably, if I had to give this song a grade out of 10, I, I'd probably go... I probably go about a nine. I think that's kind of where I'm at. I, I I really do feel like this is one of the better left to suffer tracks. Um, you know, I, I definitely do like it more than the last two that they put out. Not that I didn't like those, but I just think that this one's really more up my alley. Um, and they did a really nice job of adding in those uh, different influences. And even though the, the song as a whole, other than the chorus, was kind of slower paced, they did a really nice job of adding the dynamics to kind of make you interested and like hook you in to just get to the next part because you know it's coming, but you're just like, how's it going to hit? But anyways, big fan of this track and a big fan of the boys over and left to suffer. But anyways, guys, if you want to check me out on social media, check out my Patreon or my Twitch or check out this video or check out my project, Bitter Bliss. All those links are down below. And until the next one, peace.